a small ball is projected vertically upwards, vertically downwards, with speed 5 meters per second from point A at a height of 7.2. So let this be that height 7.2 meters and a ball is projected downwards and the initial speed is 5 meters per second. Above the ground, the ball hits the ground with speed V, reaches the ground, hits with speed V and rebounds vertically upwards with speed 1 by 2 V. So when it is coming back, speed is V by 2 meters per second. The highest point of the ball reaches after rebound is B. Let's say it reaches this point. That is B. It was released at point A. Find V and hence find the total time taken for the ball to reach the ground from A and rebound to B. So the first part, find the total time taken for the ball to reach the ground from A and to rebound. Okay. So first of all, v square minus u square is equals to 2 a s as i need to find v which is unknown initial speed is given which is 5 2 and acceleration it is falling under the action of gravity that is 10 displacement is given that is 7.2 so only unknown is v square 2 into 10 into 7.2 plus 5 square so v square equals 2 into 10 into 7.2 plus 5 squared is 169 and v is equals to square root 169 is 13 meters per second now it is given that it rebounds with half of the speed so that is half of 13 that is 6.5 when it rebounds with this speed i can find this So initially v equals u plus 80 if I use this I now know the final velocity which is 13 initial is 5 acceleration is 10 and time is unknown so 13 minus 5 is equals to 10 into time 13 minus 5 is 8 8 is equals to 10 t t is equals to 8 by 10 which is 0 0.8 seconds so this is the time taken to fall let's say t1 is equals to 0 0.8 seconds now for the second half let me reopen it just got stuck uh, quickly v equals u plus 80 v was 13 13 is equals to 5 plus 10 into t and that came out to be 0 0.8 seconds so time to fall was 0 0.8 seconds now for the second half it reaches a maximum height and we know the initial speed now is 6.5 and when it reaches the maximum height velocity at that point would be 0 so v square minus u square is equals to 2 a s final velocity is 0 initial is in this case is 6.5 square is equals to 2 and it is going against the gravity so we can find the maximum height 6.5 squared is 42.25 is equal to minus 20 s negative goes away displacement is 42.25 by 20 and we get 2.1125 meters. For now, we will use this complete distance. And for the time, I think that is something extra I find, found out. Time could be V is equals to U plus 80. Now we know that at the highest point, velocity is 0. Initial velocity is 6.5. And acceleration is minus 10 so that is time minus 6.5 is equals to minus 10 time and time is equals to 0 0.65 
सो फर्स्टली टाइम टू कम डाउन वॉज जीरो पॉइंट एट टी वन प्लस टी टू टोटल टाइम वुड बी जीरो पॉइंट एट प्लस जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स फाइव पॉइंट एट प्लस पॉइंट सिक्स फाइव गिवज मी वन पॉइंट फोर फाइव सेकेंड्स दिस वॉज नॉट रिक्वायर्ड दिस वॉज एक्स्ट्रा सो वन पॉइंट फोर फाइव सेकेंड्स